Hello there, this is Eugene, board number 17, and I'm demonstrating my first tricolored LED design project, which is a game of battleships. On the board, you will see two pots, this one, this one. They control the XY positioning, so you can fire. The button is the firing mechanism itself. You push the button and it sets the coordinates for your fire. The speaker is just for sound effects. The LED is an indicator, so it can do any color. I settled on red for a hit, blue for a miss, yellow for an error, if you hit the same spot as you hit before. And basically white will play if you won the game, and green if you sunk the whole ship. So I'm gonna demonstrate how the game works by turning on the system. You will notice that on the matrix, you have a lit up spot, which is your current coordinate, and I can control that spot using two three punchometers. So I can go up and down anywhere in the matrix, left and right. I set the ship coordinates manually this time around, so I can demonstrate how things work, and hence you will see I put a marker on the matrix for you to know where the ships are. It takes a really easy set of uh, ship coordinates, so potentially I could either have it generated randomly during uh, startup, or we can play against other battleships like this. Uh, if we put in a Wi-Fi link, say XBs, and they could possibly talk to each other. As it stands right now, it's a hard-coded battle scenario, so I can easily demonstrate. So let me go over to, say, a corner where nothing is there. I'm going to fire, and you will see the blue LED lit up, meaning you missed. So I can keep going, say, another one, and bam, I missed. If, however, I go over to a ship and press fire, hey, you hit a ship. I can keep going down, the ship is gone, one more down, so now I know that I've hit three in a row, I can either go down here or down here, or up, up here, but basically because it's red so far it means the ship isn't sunk yet, so if I fire now, I hit the whole ship, and there we go, it's done. You might have noticed that the lights stay on, meaning that you will always know where the ships if you've hit are and you won't be hit in the same place again. So let me go over to this one. Hit and hit. So now we have two sunk ships. I'm going to take care of this one. And I can keep going, try different locks, and there's blue, means I missed. But what do you know? I hit a ship. One more. And one more. There we go. So now we're down to our last ship which I'm going to go to. One problem is because the LED matrix is all the same color, when you're over the ships, it's hard to see where the cursor and where the ships are, but that's a trade-off. So then I'm gonna hit the ship. So now you saw I only have one space left. I can keep playing, do whatever I want, really. Miss, but if I actually hover over the ship and fire, the melody will indicate that, oh hey, you won. So melody plays only once, and the white LED, which is all three colors together, stays on, lit up. And then in order to play the game again, I'm gonna press the reset button, which will reset back to the starting state. And as you notice, I can move my words again and fire. So that is that. The code and the schematics will be online for you to see how it all works. Thank you very much.